Sange, Chedan, Sage, Chanam, Janja, Badu, Dani, Kapsuchi, Dagi, Jen, Sage, Pe, Sognam, Ki, Jala, Penji, Sange, Jubash, Sange, Chedan, Sage, Chanam, Janja, Badu, Dani, Kapsuchi, Dagi, Jen, Sage, Pe, Sognam, Ki, Gala Benji Sange Drubarshu Sange Chedan Sage Chana Chanja Badu Dani Kapsuj Dagi Jen Sage Pe Sognam Ki Jala Benji Sange Drubarshu And the praise to Shakyamuni Buddha To the teacher, the Bhagavan, Tathagata, Ahat, perfectly completed Buddha Perfect in knowledge and in good conduct. Sagata, knower of the world. Supreme guide of beings to be subdued. Teacher of gods and humans. To you, Buddha Bhagavan, glorious Congress Shakyamuni, I prostrate, make offerings and go for refuge. To the teacher, the Bhagavan, Tathagata, Ahat, perfectly completed Buddha, perfect in knowledge and in good conduct, Sugata, knower of the world, supreme guide of beings to be subdued, teacher of gods and humans. To you, Buddha Bhagavan, glorious Congress Shakyamuni, I prostrate, make offerings and go for refuge. To the teacher, Bhagavan, Tathagata, Ahat, perfectly completed Buddha, Perfect in knowledge and in good conduct, Sugata, knower of the world, supreme guide of beings to be subdued, teacher of gods and humans, to you, Buddha Bhagavan, glorious conqueror, Shakyamuni Buddha, I prostrate my offerings and go for refuge. So the mandala offering, requesting the teachings. <coughs> oh,
Kudanti la sha tse lu na mo la yike da lu da ni jin ki chun ba da na mi yike na da an zhuo kun ji zhan na ji zang tan ji ki du da ki chui dun du tan ter pe be chui du pu mo chang ma la tu ma chan zhe si di li xue yi en di ne da da li xue di da nang chun mo zhe sun zhe si cha gyu o re ma tu be mi se ki da chui di cien dan yang xiong xi da wo ndi da ndi da wo qi xie ru qi si xin mi se ki zhi gui ki chong yong ma re da yi na yang zhi gui ji ka ri chong si na chui gu di wu qi chang mi se nang lu la ni di wu qi u di ni xie ru qi sa ma qi u xie di kwe ka le ka wu qi du si xie zang qi kang xie wo di se nang lu ni di wu qi ha ku chui chui wu qi xie ru qi sa da xie ne chang mi chang mi ha ku chui chui di ni qi da xie ye kin pui sen qi yin da yi na yang xie kin ki gang sa ki qie wu di ni yong gure xie dang xie ma xie ki di ni qie wu yong gure zhu di da nang chui xie wu ka du di la nang chui ki dren ta di xie tu ba ji gu di gang la da gu di wu xie ki yu xie ji ne gang an ni ni su da xie Tindai Di zondian jini xie wa yina Nang shu kurang ki duyan ta di Da da ma le wa chi Chung ba yina Ta di yang chu xie wa cha gu ma ri sang gu tu Xin ta dung xie wa sun da cha ya ki Ninga yu ri sang gu tu Xie zang di baru si la da Nang shu yang kang tu ji du ki Nang shu ki duyan ta di Xie tu ya ji Ni yang nang ba su ngui ne ji Kang gu di di ji Nang ba su la kang gu di di yung ya ji so today, Rinpoche would like to greet everyone, uh, all Dharma friends um, that you've come here, male and female. Okay, sure. Can you all hear me? Okay. So anyway, um, today Rinpoche came here. This is not... Um, a special kind of teaching Rinpoche will give in the sense that he will not follow a particular text. Uh, there's also no particular topic that has been requested, but one request has been put forward, which is um, to teach something that everyone can understand. So something that, well, no one has a hard time with, in the sense that there are some topics uh, that can be really difficult, uh, some specific Buddhist te uh, uh, topics that can be easily, can be hard, I mean, can be difficult to understand. So in that sense, Rinpoche has been requested to teach on something that is a little easier and that no one has a hard time with. So sometimes Rinpoche said, well, there are certain topics, of course, if the person teaches something and the main meaning may not be that easy, may not be easily understood. And if then those people listen, uh, don't understand it, it's like he's just telling a story Story. I mean, it's just really hard to, to, to follow. So Rinpoche will give his very best to teach something that all of you will understand um, that you won't have a hard time with. Hmm. <coughs> Kato sewe che e ma dringi sunne chito. Ta yi na yang, ta sanji chong din de rang ni ji song, ta nang jun yong da, ta chi jen na chang mi ching gyo re, pe pa mang chi wu chi. Di wa ji yang, mi jia si yis, gyo wa pin song tsu bar ji, rang gyi sing ni yong sun dul, di ni sanji ten ba yin yin sewe chi. Ta lunga yi song ki, di wei jia wa di su, bang gu re es, ro. Tanjie bang gu re, nang ba tanjie de bang. Ani di du shu, gyi wa di yang, gyi wa du gu ba da a chang chang, gyi wa di yang, gyi wa shu ri zang, ni zi wa zang, di ne ba yin ba. Di yang du gyi cha ni yang, du gau la la shi, zang la, gyi wa du ye di ne ba yin ba. Gyi wa kurang gyi ngui cha ni yang, gyi ye cha, kar yue ba yin re, tanjie, di yang, Dui cha ni yang nang ba tan jie tu. Ni pin song su ba chi, gyo wa pin song su ba chi, niang si nang gu gu rees. Din jie yi, di bong gyi du gyi tuo ni, rang gyi sen di, ngar dan min da wa, si shi tu wa chi, 
Chung to Baina, Tindegi, Saint Dulotilla, Sanje, you choose in Lagres, Sikurangi Modon, Tinida with Sungdoa. So, Rumbji will give, therefore, like an introduction to Buddhism, um, a teaching that most of you will understand. And so, um, as the basis for that, Rinpoche recited a verse uh, which reads as follows, don't, don't accumulate a single non-virtue. Um, accumulate thorough, thoroughly engaged in virtuous actions and completely subdue your mind. This is the teaching of the Buddha. And so the meaning of, this, of these words are that we should overcome any kind of harmful action, any kind of non-virtuous action we should abandon. We should not engage in any kind of non-virtue and also engage in what's called, well, thorough kind of virtue in thorough uh, or thoroughly engage in positive actions. So positive actions in the sense of not superficially uh, sometimes avoid, or sometimes engaging in positive actions, but to engage in them at all times in completely virtuous kind of actions, beneficial actions. So in terms of time and in mm. terms of the strength of one's positive actions, it's important to uh, thoroughly engage in these, uh, yeah, well, positive mm. deeds. And then, based on that, to completely subdue one's own mind. So to subdue one's own mind, to um, train one's own mind, to subdue one's own mind, and that is the teaching of the Buddha. That is what we should do when we practice the teachings of the Buddha. Mm. Sanglo Marunwa Shinla Nuba Chowden Duban Kandre Shinla Nuba Chagu Sansangi Tindegi Sanglo Nimba Chigi Queen Elandi Shinla Nube Chowche Tila Debeles Chisila Gores Gay Lessner Candigila Gay Less Yorsner Gono Sambuji Tune now, what is a non-virtuous action? What does that actually mean? Well, a non-virtuous action depends on the motivation, depends on the, uh, the attitude one generates uh, before engaging in action. So if it's an inappropriate attitude, an inappropriate motivation based on, well, for instance, the wish to harm another person, any action that results from such a motivation, wanting to harm another person, is considered to be a non-virtue. Whereas a virtuous action refers to uh, an action where the, the motivation is a positive one. It's a mind that wishes to benefit other sentient beings. So based on that wish to benefit others, any action, whether it's a, a short-term action that brings short-term uh, benefit or no, that what wishes for short-term benefit or long-term benefit, any action uh, that is motivated by such attitude uh, is considered to be a virtuous action. Ta Tindegi Debele Dilla Chidang Debele Nangdang Yonsu Zuba Tsigu Jona Situe Yomare Kares Lon Digala Shinla Nube Chae Nangdang Tilla Kutanlan Debashiro Nube Chae Dante Ku Natsuvas Chanlan Debash Yon Chure Chis Rinin Chesine Situes Kayomare Tsiguheke Mary Ta Yina Yang Shinla Nube Chao Megile, Tsuchioti, and so Tanga Tsiwina, Tsuchio want the chene, Megio juice chene, Songiorta, Megio, Tsuchio down, Megie Nanola, Shushu Jedi, Sundos, Donja and Tanga Jawina, Nanjunda, Megio juice, that Din Nanola, Megio Hanan Pesio, she didn't do it. She's a Megio juice, she's Songiores, Gioyan Taranje. Gage out, 
And now, with regard to these negative actions, so non-virtuous action or non-virtuous uh, karmic actions, as they can be called, so if someone wonders what different types there are, well, actually, they're countless. There are countless different, pe different ways in which we can harm other people. But uh, despite this countless, despite their, their, their number being, being endless, there's still a way to categorize non-virtuous actions. So they're usually categorized into what are called the 10 non-virtuous, the 10 non-virtuous actions or the 10 non-virtuous. And these are just the main kind of negative actions. And all other negative actions that are not mentioned as part of those 10 can be subs subsumed or well, yeah, can be subsumed under these 10 actions. And similarly, with regard to positive actions, again, there are countless different ways in which we can benefit other sentient beings. Uh, but if you want to categorize them uh, in, in a certain amount of different virtuous actions, then they can be uh, categorized under the um, 10 virtuous actions. They can be classified into 10 virtuous actions. Wanda, ま、今日ちょっと彼らですね、なんかそうです。あ、なんか他用的是,他的那么是,他的那么是,他的那么是,他的那么是,他的那么是,他的那么是,他的那么是,他的那么是,他的那么是,他的那么是,他的那么是,他的那么是,他的那么是,他的那么是,他的那么是,他的那么是
呃，他那些个设备交啊，交啊的，交啊，刚才几个图呢？你们这个地区呢，地价很多高嘛，是吧？没设备来些，是吧？交了呢，古么古么当时些呢？呃，恰是定的位呢呀，呃，确定这些没
<laughs> now, with regard to the meaning of each of these uh, non-virtues, well, actually, as the terms as the terms indicate, well, they're not that difficult to understand. I mean, when you hear "not killing," we all know what is meant with that. It doesn't require much more explanation. So, for instance, killing an animal. Or in particular, the main non-virtue is considered to be the non-virtue of killing a, a, another human being. But, as just mentioned, it doesn't need a lot more explanation than that. However, in the, um, in the treatise on the great stages of the path to enlightenment by Lama Tsongkhapa, also called Lamrim Chamo, uh, Lama Tsongkhapa, as part of the well, it's, it's divided into three aspects or three, um, three parts, if you like. And one part is, are the teachings that are common to a person, to a practitioner of a lower spiritual uh, aspiration. So during those teachings, especially the teachings on karma, on the law of karma, in those teachings you find a, an explanation <coughs> in terms, a very extensive explanation on killing in the sense that, well, not just on killing, also on the other uh, non-virtues. So what is explained is in terms of how you accumulate negative karma when you kill another being, when you kill another person, for instance. So first of all, that you accumulate negative karma and how that is accumulated. And it's taught uh, by way of four aspects. The motivation is the first aspect, then the basis, then the action itself, and the conclusion. So it basically explains in great detail, for instance, in terms of the non-virtue of killing, what kind of motivation uh, do you generate, or what kind of, generate, what kind of motivation, what kind of intention it should be to become a non-virtue of killing. And then secondly, what is the basis, a human being, an animal, and so forth. Thirdly, the action itself. And in particular, with regard to the action itself, it's not necessary that you actually kill another person. You could hire someone to kill another person for you, and it would still be a karma, a non-virtue of killing. And last, the last aspect is the conclusion. So does the person die or not? Um, so if the person actually dies as a result of your action, then you've completed the action of killing, as an example. So this is something... Uh, that can be applied, of course, to the other <coughs> non-virtues as well. And it's important to know, this is, this is important, uh, it needs to be known, it's important for you to understand this uh, as part of the, your understanding of the ten non-virtues. Then with regard to the four non-virtues of the speech, Brunpuche says they're pretty clear, he doesn't need to add anything to that, but it's important to explain at least two of the non-virtues of the mind. Now, the non-virtue, which is described as harmful intent, well, it's pretty obvious what that refers to, or harmful action sometimes also described. So harmful intent or harmful um, deed, that is pretty um, self-explanatory, so no need to explain that. But the term uh, covetousness, well, at least in Tibetan, remember she says, it's not that clear. It's not immediately obvious to a Tibetan speaker what that means. So he says he's not sure this is the same, this is the same as the, the case also in English. So anyway, Rinpoche will explain what covetousness uh, refers to. It is a type of mind. First of all, it's considered to be a mind of desire, of, of afflicted desire, a mind of, um, well, connected to what's called attachment or, or greed, if you like. Um, so this kind of mind, actually the basis is this kind of greed, it's, it's desire, afflicted desire. And then based on that type of mind, it covets, it, it, it wishes to acquire something by way of harmful means or by way of inappropriate means, what another person owns. So uh, some person, something belongs to another person and you'd really like to get it out of attachment, out of greed. You then try, even by means of, uh, well, by illegal means, by non virtuous means, you try to acquire it. That is considered to be covetousness. And so Rinpoche says, just wanting something, even if there's greed, even if there's a great desire, that's not necessarily this particular non-virtue. Because, of course, you could go up to the other person who, who owns which, whichever object you would like to have and ask them to give it to you. And maybe they give it to you and maybe they won't. But 
you, you may <coughs> try to acquire it by, by appropriate means. So that would then not be covetousness. Uh, however, in this case here, it is these negative, it's these harmful means by which you try to, to uh, acquire this particular object. So, Rinpoche asked, it's clear, right, what, what this particular non-virtue refers to. And then the last of the three non-virtues of the mind um, is called wrong view. So, wrong view in this case means a type of mind that perceives something which actually exists actually exists to be non-existent. So that basically denies the existence of something that in actuality exists. So an example is to deny the kindness of one's own parents. The fact that our parents have shown us great kindness, having raised us and so forth. So uh, that would be an example denying or believing our parents have not been kind to us, or um, a teacher, like uh, not perceiving a teacher as an object of respect, or the three jewels of da Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha, not regarding them uh, as an object of devotion or an, an object of, uh, yeah, well, also uh, devoted respect. So Rinpoche said, in particular with one's parents, to, to explain that example. Well, uh, to think that our parents have not done a lot for us and so forth, so not shown us kindness. That would be a wrong view or an example of a wrong view. And then other examples of a wrong view is to believe that certain phenomena do not have causes, so that certain, that results, certain resultant states have not arisen from their own causes and conditions as if they've just fallen from the sky. Uh, so they just happened to appear, but there were no causes and conditions that gave rise to them. Another wrong view is uh, to, to believe that there is no karma or karmic, that there are no karmic consequences of our actions, um, that there is no past and future lives, or that the three jewels don't exist. So these views of believing that something which actually exists, believing it to not be existent, to be non-existent, that is an example of a wrong view. The Lubertawa Tilla Diri, Kundegi Lotus Lowina, Tagilata, Yaval Mabato. The Dilayan Dundogi Lotus Sundo, Dundogi Lotus Nia T and Jebutanji Juchi Cheban Simba. Yamina Jitingi Kanti Kansa Taba or Tindechi Cheban Simba, Jitin Kobo with Tindechi Cheban Simba. Dilayan Dundogi Lotus Sungo Naji. え、ロタルに住んでる。にが、え、ロタルの尊業だ。うん。あんてほち、ちっちゃんでけよ。うん。住ちんてぶたんじ、住ちいちえぶんせんばた。え、やん、てぶて、みてんべちゅ、べんん
And the example <laughs> Rinpoche gave was that for, of a creator god. So from a Buddhist point of view, a creator god, uh, the view of, a, of, of the existence of a creator god is considered <clears throat> to be a wrong view because um, here you have a cause that actually doesn't have the potential to create um, this world and so forth. So in that sense, uh, a, a creator god, which not just that, but also on top of that is considered to be permanent and an independent entity. So when a creator god is considered to be permanent and an inde independent entity, and at the same time is considered to be the creator of everything, from a Buddhist point of view, that is an example of uh, asserting a cause that doesn't have the potential to give rise to a result. Hmm. The, uh, <coughs> Hm, <laughs> Shooting <laughs> Migiwele, Debeles, Yesungo, so Rangre, Rangin Trebu, Nami, the Lady Wanki, Nami Dewa, Chi Yuvena, Gilege, Nami Dunge, Chi Yuvena, Migiwele's Yesungo is. And in the same way, the, the same explanation. Um, Oh, of course I will. Sorry, my apologies. I didn't realize. Where's the Vietnamese translator? Where is she? Oh, there you are. Okay, yeah, I pay attention. Mm
Miss Hai, just a quick question. Would it be easier for you if I speak slowly uh, so you can translate simultaneously? Or is it... Should we... Keep? Sure, of course, of course. We, okay. okay, all right, okay. Okay, so... Wonder machine. So with regard to the ten virtues, it's the same. With regard to the ten virtues, the explanation Brimbuchi just gave is similar. Uh, so, in short, it all depends on our motivation. What is the motivation? So, with regard to the non virtuous and with regard to non virtuous actions, if we have the intention to harm another person, whether directly or indirectly, any kind of action that results from that intention, from that motivation, is considered to be a non virtue. It's considered to be uh, yeah, a negative action or a non virtuous action. But then there's another way to distinguish or to, to uh, differentiate between a virtuous and a non-virtuous action, basically from the point of view of the result. An action, the result of which, the ripening result, as it is called, uh, an action, the ripening result of which naturally causes suffering or naturally causes an unpleasant experience, that is considered to be a non-virtue. Whereas an action, uh, the ripening effect of which naturally gives rise to a pleasant experience, to a, a happy experience or a pleasant experience, that is considered to be a virtuous or a positive action. <coughs> Okay, great. Okay, okay, all right. I'll continue the way I did it before. Right. Okay, great, thank you. Oh, it's okay? Ale, okay. Yeah, yeah. That DJ Dugala, the Jutila, Chidangi, Chidangi, Pangshis, Shiva in her country, Chidangi, those, and the Shija don't Shiva in a Chichan Shiva in a Dewa, Terjitila, Giwasito, Dungetri Kintila, Migios, Shijne, that Dila Yungor. That the Redi, D, the Shedi Javi Katutila, Yang asut tu nanti gue cuti dia orang. Mungkin lelaki ni jebu roh jenuh di kala. Mungkin lelaki ni dah jenji jenji jebu di la menda usung yang gore. Lelaki bu dah orang la dah pun jebu seni jores. Nampi jebu seni jores. Juting jebu seni jores. Jibu sebi jebu seni jores ni. Mendo lelaki lain jebu mendo nasu bayu nanti sungi orang wa di yang kau hebat sungi orang. Tapi anda sungi ada dunia terjadi ke lela mungkin le segera segi. Tapi dunia terjadi ke lela mungkin le sungi orang di kala tinjai ini jebu dunia di mungkin le di ini jebu si nala karin jebu cagar sana jebu karin cagar sana nama ini jebu sedi cagar. Sebab tu nama ini jebu sedi Lehdi ini jebu nanglo la, nami ini jebu ini dia buat. Tapi nami ini jebu dia buat. Jadi orang cecut sun resi resi sun yore. Nami long de mantin cius lo. Senjen ju long ting xin jong si. Tapi dia cecut sun resi resi sun yore. Kandre lehdi ini ini be nami ti la kansa ju 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 dua inba lo. Kansa ju 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 dua. Shuruki sadu kita itu nama kita jebat minggu amal. Nama itu 
呃，多年的呃，米吉沃的，呃，多年，呃，今年的恰英国的，吉尔勒的，迪旺今年的恰英国的，第一点讲了，吉尔勒的，卡萨，迪沃的，就吉尔勒中国的，多年的，就米吉
sorry, non-virtuous action, I'm getting confused. So uh, the, the relationship between a suffering experience and a non-virtuous action, and the relationship between a pleasant experience, a happy experience, and a virtuous action. It's important to understand the relation between uh, these. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, that two uh, day, uh, gear lazy, Jebu two sundati, uh, Nami Jebu devot, uh, Chayung Gore, uh, Devon Chamber Chigor, that gear lessu susula, uh, Ranangi, uh, Jinju, Ron Jinji, Nami in Jebu, Mindo Mindo Yoro, Devoyan Chamber Chigore, uh, Pena, Zimbatun Yu, gear let our chill chasumbayina, the Nami in Jebu Tila, uh, Longju Chiwati, Ro, Kansarani, Longju Chiwati. Young Grace. Any Zubele Chevaina Zuben Dangdins, so you do on Young Grace. And Turin Casa Turin Yabosom Baina, Tada me, Ludin to Grace, Ludin. Tundu Zang Chisine, Chaola Shumbo Mevachi, Ro, Tundu Liluson Pan Chisine, Tundu Yang Dabe Chaola, Tundu Zombaina. Tindegi Gale Sabaina, Toto Demo Young Grace. She said, Gale Susu Nami in Java Midamino to Sungutua. Daddy could show now the Mantisha Candes, Yuba, Tire. Tangazun Ditega Tila, Ninga, Ketchimu Shigwechi Tila, Gale Gi, Ro, Jebu Dio, Teguba, and Jebu Dio, Chimbaina, Rangi Jutila, Nibo, the Giochi Guguba, Kuni Baru, the Junjak in Tewati. Jasa Jatam, Junjagin to watch Yogur, Katchet maybe, Junjagin to watch Yogur. Kandra, Dioina, Ranichi, Jutila Gioji, Gio Lesi, never to Gures, Tisungore. Tunga Imbaina, Ranichi, Jutila, Migie Lesi, never to the Yongures. Tanashi, Jui Chanese in the Migie Ledan, Gio Le, Susuki. That lem yubati, Sabaina, Jebu, Gioina, Dewan Jimberchi, Dewan Jinji, Yamana Dewan Jinjum, Migua Imbaina, Dunge, Chizi, Yana Dunge, Chirunch, or Tindesi, Nibat Yingure, Sisini, Tison Yundigala, the Giwata Dewani Parugi, Junjagin Tio Chatanti, Sugor, Tati, Kesimu, Chadi or Tilako, Mani Baina. Legend of Co neither made the Sunday show. Tichaguesser. That in Tigala Chitan in Dosan Tambaina, Dio in Re, Dunga in Re, Jimba Tambo de la Nasu, Caritachi in Shutu Ursina, Jum ever, Mijuma Ding as to touch it to study, eh, Ro, Candeci la Trebace in Re, Jume Chimele, Jebu Dio Yoy Mabata, Jebu Dunga Yoy Mabati, Ti Hana. Subachi to his mature, and as a mobu can take the table in the re, Susuki Jurile, Yonti Yobati, who chunir into a roar. The other Dunga young, Chiba Yangu Gurmando, the other Dunga said the Kunil Missechi, Shinda Samolo, Ranang Julie Chungu Yobachi, Jebu the other Dunga said the Jume Jumebala, Yonchu Yobitinjagi, Missechi, Yonshe Kron Yomaro, so Chitri. Nine, the other Dunga said, Jumeba le Chumbaina? Any? Ne, this is ne, this is a pinson subata, damba chakinch you with cigarette. Those ne, this is ne, any? Keba pinson suba chakinch, keba, kebe you and then, ro, tinre chan rokinchi, you with cigarette. Those ne, the kaya maji with cigarette, any drebu pinson subachi, er, talking, tinrechi, chungu cigarette, tinre to my middle. Ro, keba, mm, Maransu. Michi took in Angola, Keva Candeci over in the Ku Ku Keva Chavi, Jurinti, Candecium to Tadigana, Nella, Galemon, which is an empty gila Keva Chava to good thing Kevaro. Tintagin to Tansi, Yungudo, she said, Tin Digala, Jume Chimele, Jebut de Water, Dunga Yonsi, Marist, Dirimetom, Tambutici. Tarimba Nibatilla, Una Mitime Jule, de Water Dunga Yungurvesna, Tian Yonsi, Marist. Mitimbe Julian Trevici Maris, Durban Trevici Yungu Maris, Pena, Cushion to King Kansachi, Salumi, Saman Tauci, Cushion, Bursin Chevaina, Yuan Yomari. 
Salmi Sabento is in the Jebut Salmo Yungur Matu, Kushu Yungumaro, Shezan, and he Salmi Sabele, Jebu Kushu Missi or the Kushu Sabele and Jebut Salmo Missi or the Ku Tumbe Jule, Tumbe Jebut Yungur Matu, Mitumbe Jule, Dube Jebut Yungumares, Jidang Tutiche, that under the order Dungetian, Jiba Jijanri. Kuran Jebut the word in Dube Mubuch, Naransu and Dube Tendachiri. Tindegin dube turn, ye do more. That's how many sing the podia, some of the guegi, Tindegi, Jebuci chai de digana, the e judilaya, tis a too much good. So then, once again, the result, if the result is that of, of a pleasant experience, Definitely, the cause must be something virtuous, and the same can be applied to uh, an unpleasant result, and then the cause being uh, a non-virtue. So, anyway, um, it's important to understand that there are many different ripening results. So, having spoken about ripening results just now in the scriptures, different ones, and the Buddha himself has talked about different ones. For instance, as a result, a ripening result of, of uh, generosity. If you're generous and you give to other people, or you generously give to others as a virtuous action, well, that the result of that is having uh, financial means, having possessions and so forth as a result. So not lacking in, uh, in material means as a result of having um, being generous with material means. And it's also considered uh, the case of patience, when someone engages in patient actions, that the ripening result of that is a pleasant appearance, a pleasant physical appearance. The result of, or the ripening result of engaging in, um, in moral discipline, in, in, in moral conduct, or in, in moral ethical conduct, um, is to be reborn as a celestial being or a human being. And the result of, um, or the, again, the um, ripening result of enthusiastic effort is to never feel disheartened, to, to not be disheartened uh, no matter what the task uh, one needs to engage in. But what is really important to understand is that whenever you have a, a pleasant experience, that the result is always a virtuous action in the past. And whenever you have an unpleasant uh, experience, the cause, not the, the, the cause, is always a positive, a virtuous action from the past. So I, I got confused previously, but the same is true for a pleasant experience, of course, the cause is always a virtuous action. So this infallible relationship between the experiences we have and the actions we engaged in, that we engaged in in the past, that is really important. And we need to really understand this point that from the point of view of the, the cause, we've accumulated what's called karma, we accumulated karma by way of a certain action, and that gives rise, um, well, either to a positive or a negative um, result. But actually here, Rinpoche was more specific. He said, it gives rise to a result or it could give rise to such a result. So Rinpoche distinguished here between actually creating a result in a way of like a, vert, uh, a positive or a negative experience, or at least having the potential to do so. Anyway, one aspect that Rinpoche stressed a lot is the fact that our experiences have not arisen without a cause or without conditions. And this is a point we really need to analyze to be able to determine that nothing, no experience, no impermanent or no experience um, can arise without a cause, can arise without any conditions. Uh, there is this strong relationship between our experiences and the actions of the path, past, and that we have these experiences is just in their nature. It's in the nature of phenomena that non-virtuous actions lead to uh, negative results, ne negative experiences, and so forth. So there not being any causeless arising, well, this is pretty clear from the fact, for instance, a person who just sleeps the whole day. <laughs> As a result of that person sleeping all day long, they will not become a learned person. So we all know this, that just lying down, not doing anything, does not result in being 
learned, being well educated and so forth. So it makes sense that we have to work hard to actually get to that level of being learned, of being a scholar and so forth. And so this is similar. Certain causes just cannot give, give, result, cannot give rise to certain results. Which is why Vrimbachi said, well, first of all, no impermanent phenomenon, that is no experience arises without causes and conditions, and no experience arises from a discordant cause. Which is just another way of saying a cause that doesn't have the potential to give rise to a certain experience or to a certain result. For instance, if you have an apple seed, you won't, if you plant an apple seed, you won't get um, an orange tree. And if you have an orange seed, you plant that, you won't get an apple tree. So similarly here, um, with regard to, uh, well, pleasant experiences and unpleasant experiences, <coughs> the same relation here. It needs to be a discordant ca cause. Only a virtuous actions, a virtuous action can, can give rise to uh, a pleasant experience, and only a non-virtuous action can give rise to an unpleasant experience. Mm. Uh, that uh, is, the meeting with Julie, she said, "Be the conversation, Jiggy, a juicy thing." Tindichagiorisna, Suzuki was Haguna, Susu Lojon Chiguris. Shazan, Midum Bejule, Devil Yungumar said, Shinji, Shinji, Chen, any Masula, Devil Dior, the Dunga Yungu or Esegi, digging the city, Jiwayanda, Mindus. Shazan, the Midum Bejule and Devil Chiji Mindus, this one word. ありゃにしてるんだけど。え、ティンディカンだ、え、ミティンビジュレ、え、デブディオンシグマです。え、た、え、ウナ、ロ、タクジュジレ、え、ジュングヨベディジュメレ、ジュチンツァワニメベ
Dunia Dordina, Kansa Rani, the number Shiva than Dine, the water Dunia said Yungu Dumatu, number Shiva than Mandriwa, so the Mandri, the water Dunia said Sijumi to Spina, Sada Shurugi, Sada Dula, the Oyo or Be Dunia or Be De, so your Be Dunia, so your Vesna, Gesheoma, could Dibu do, could under Dibu me do, could under Dunia do, could under any Nasa Nadesha say it in the Nansha Kona Yomaris. Di Kaisen Jebu Yabuchi di Judian Yabuchi in Gorda, Judian Yabuchi in Gurmadun, Jebu Yabuchi, Judin in Bachi, Yonshi Maro, she's the Majumi Julian Jebuchi, said Chandro. She's a D in Digala, she jud and Jinny Yonguegi, the water Dungeni Butigi, Judy, she jung amit into Shago Digala, she be jung amit into Yubi, Shao Yabuchi, Chao Yidumisha, Le. Zambi chajure, Leng in bechajure, Zangi Kayama in Chasunur, that this one of my dube, she be jungi dingi, any deg jun, er, chess the king down, chee room kinky, juji tenju or marta. Yana, she ju naransu chiegi, lela, this one of my duking lazy meverta. Yana gay lere, Yana migay lere, Yana gimigi Kayama in bed. Tiri, Lumantingile, Tisumatu, Lel Tisumatun to Samir, Tisun Kano in Charoa. Then Jebutila diwa dunge, didu kayama in betanu sietine, sonyor, so didu tanu sonyori. That deeg judi casing around so she be jungitin to jingitin the shagu, shagu yuba in a she be jungitin to yube, chaotila, chaotisumbu canonri, tisung in Angola, that gay lady deeg juche urmatu. Miguel Letty, de Junichi Shimare. Duja Jenny Yabu and Dinion Shimaro. That Zangi Kayamaji, which in Yabu Yombayina, Dia Chunita Metimbari. That Dia Indigala, Shibe Junga Mintinto, Susugi Nara Chebe, Chao Sambu, Le Sambu, Tisu Jetigi, Susugi, Lutu, Susugi Tindu, Susugi Gala, Susugi Shijugi Tindu, and Jebu Diwaji, Leung Grace. Susugi Nara Duja Cheva Tigi. She so susugi gala, jebu duja jungreti, dunetris. She is a di indigala, deducinity, gimigi jisun to do chetandi, tindesi tuni. Cosantoe pech your esangu. Now another example for a cause that is discord with its result would be if another person accumulated a certain action, uh, it's impossible that as a result of that, as a karmic result of another person's action, that we experience the result. So as a result of like a virtuous action, if someone engages in, a, in the virtuous action, it's impossible for us to experience the karmic result of a pleasant experience. This would be like, for instance, um, another person eats food and we feel full as a result. It wouldn't make sense. 
or another person studies really hard, and as a result of that, we become a learned person. Similarly, with regard to karmic results, it's impossible that someone engages in a karmic action and we experience the karmic result of that particular action. And this is actually just logical. It makes logically sense. Similarly, uh, it's impossible that one single cause can give rise to many different results. That would be impossible. And as mentioned early on, well, uh, a discordant cause. So a discordant cause giving rise to uh, a discordant result. So a, as the example goes, um, a virtuous cause, a virtuous action giving rise to um, a suffering, kind of a result of suffering. So in that way, there is this cause and effect relationship uh, that is infallible, that works in all ways, in, 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 in every situation, basically. So here, with regard to um, what happens in our life, so the experiences we have, we can relate them back to actions of the past. So certain actions we've engaged in. And actually the experiences we have right now, when we, when we talk of experiences, they're actually feelings. They're mental feelings. So a feeling of pleasure or a happy kind of feeling, uh, an unhappy feeling, or a feeling that is none of the three. So there are three types of feeling called a, a pleasant, unpleasant, or a neutral feeling. So this is what we usually describe as like a, a positive, a negative, or a neutral experience. And it's all re in relation to our self, to our own mind, in the sense that all our feelings, all our experiences, so pleasant, unpleasant, or neutral feelings or experiences, well, all of those are connected to our mental continuum, to our consciousness. There's no feeling that is not connected to our own mind, in the sense of like, experiencing the result of our own karmic action. So all these feelings that arise, they're all connected to our own mind. And so it's not that we talk about, for instance, a stone or, or soil being happy or unhappy. It's impossible. So inanimate objects cannot experience, cannot have these feelings. They're always related to consciousness. They're always related to mind and to a living being, therefore. And... Um, with, in relation to uh, these different feelings here, well, there are mental factors. So, I mean, feeling, uh, I, I was going to say the Tibetan word, tawa, but actually it means feeling. So feeling is a mental factor of mind and mental factors. It's a mental factor. And we distinguish between three different, uh, three different feelings, three different types of feelings, because there are three different causes, virtuous actions, non virtuous actions and neutral actions. And there's this really strong connection between the two. And any karmic action is of one of the three types, and therefore you have these three types of experiences of like pleasant, unpleasant, and uh, neutral. And it's this pleasure that we actually wish for. It's based on we, what we actually wish for is this pleasure, but we need to understand that these are the three experiences that we can actually uh, have. And again, Rinpoche said that, yes, it is in relation to a non-virtuous cause that we have an unpleasant experience. It would never be the other way around in terms of a karmic result. So there's this infallible, relation, infallible relationship between wanted experiences, and Rinpoche stressed that, that that which we want is pleasure. It's something positive, and therefore only a cause that is also desirable that something positive can give rise to that result. And in the same way, that is true also for something unwanted, an unwanted experience. It can only be caused by something that is also unwanted and that is undesirable. Dunedi that the 
So we should think along these lines, basically, when the experience is a mental factor, something of a mental nature, then it makes sense that also the cause is of a mental nature, in the sense that, well, there's a motivation and so forth, and there's that's, that's this relationship between the cause that is mental and the result that is mental. Anyways, having these results, positive, negative, and, and neutral ones, what we really want is happiness which is why it's so important to understand uh, this kind of process, uh, to see what we need to do to gain that experience of happiness. And it's actually just a, a law of nature. It's a type of law of nature that an experience that we desire can only be brought about if we have a cause that is discordant, that, sorry, that is concordant with that result. So to be, to be aware of that and act accordingly. In that sense, this is the law of cause and effect that can be called the internal law of cause and effect. 
So the law of karma being a part of the law of cause and effect. You also have the external law of cause and effect in terms of the the world of plants, the world the world of, of the, the natural world of like plants and trees and so forth. And here it's similar. When you plant a seed that is of good quality, and then you add all the conditions that are necessary, so uh, water and, and fertilizer and so forth, well, you get a corresponding kind of plant uh, that is of good quality because of all the, the, well, the main cause and of course also the co conditions all being present. So therefore you have a, uh, a, a well, the, the respective result. And here similarly we talk about, as, as we talk about external cause and effect, we can also speak of the internal ones. So the internal cause and effect that are related to our mind and body in relation to like a person. So here internal from the point of view of a person, being <coughs> a person. And so the result, again, the result being something that we desire. Um, and what we desire, of course, being a, a, a pleasant experience, being happiness. And that connects, although it connects mainly to our mind, but it also connects, of course, to our bodies in the sense that certain results uh, are experienced by the body, so there's certain uh, results that are based on the physical basis, and still, uh, of course, also experienced on a mental on a mental level. And in that sense, uh, what we wish for, of course, we wish, for instance, for uh, a healthy body, a body that doesn't get sick, um, a body that is strong. In other words, a, a really good, a really uh, well. Uh, helpful kind of body that helps us to uh, face the challenges in life. And then, of course, then any kind of difficulties are experienced uh, with the mind. And again, Rinpoche says that everything, of course, body and mind being connected, and any kind of difficulty we face with the body, that is also experienced by the mind. So having um, negative or positive experiences. But the point basically being that that which we really wish, what we want, the, the desired kind of result, positive experiences, well, there is no other cause but virtuous actions. And this we need to understand. We need to understand that relationship and also need to understand that it's all connected to the mind, that our actions, our karmic actions are connected to the mind and the karmic results are also mainly connected to the mind because the feeling that arises, pleasant, unpleasant or neutral, is experienced by feelings which are parts of the mind, which are part of the mind. Tayang, Shushin Dajine, Disungudua, Tandegi, Naransu Mizi, Tarangi, Wanta Chen Shuina, Simba Luba Yu in Rita, Gay Sambati, Samba Zambujidi, Katsu Mao Yu in Re, T. Chuji, Midigi, Simba Luba, Simba and the Papi Bada, Chiba Yundigala. And the other thing is that the people who are living in the world are living in the world. They 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 are え、シャンバゴンキンキミディ。ロシャンバゴン。シャンバダツイワセ。シャンバシュチンボゴンキンキミディ。え、に、シャギンドディアンヤウヨングリス。ディソンドア。え、に、え、チ、チャシマパヤ
long thing or chibach, a disungudo. A teacher do not shin to try Saint Yan, Joanga la dainty water. Could Joanga Danny soon is ready or shin to try long Danny is going, Joanga, Joan Tommy Danny soon is ready or Shaza, Joan Tommy Danny, Tindesun is you could drink chai and gore, any Nancy Tin do, Gale, Katsuma, you were in the re Nancy, Kanga Tin Segi, Lung. Joanga Dani, Tin Joan Tisu Yanti Pasu Chanu Sunday Logurbe, Tinji Yonju Yobaching, Masu Sebachi, Chetu Sunday, T. T. Ribe Pavi in the Ganga Shuaki, Ribet, Tigi, Jutanti, Patsubachina. That T. Indigala, any Padu in number she with the Gay, Le Mambuching, Padu, Tigi number she with Aminga to Shune, Pamigi Kurachi, the Shu Indigala, then Joma Chamuni and Joma Rapper. Pamukura Suchine, Jong Pinsin, Pandiguro. Then Jigu digala Nancy Shuking, Nancy Kurang thing in Jong Chamuti Jeti, then Jong Chanu Badan, any Jong Di could puce the mass on the puce tabu, you don't puce tabu, you pu tabu, you can't, I mean, Pamiki Kurachi, the Shu and Digala, and Shu and Ludin, Langu Digala, the Kura and Jisagi Kura Tila Yang, Tila Pa. John Sambuchi, Kula Shuji, Sambuji Tichine, and Kuda di Chila Shun, Lu Lang, and Langju Ludian, and in Joma Chanu Dingy, Ombu, Sebu Yonding, and Subu Din Danda Demo Yonding, Tindagi, John, Tarag and Kutank Tony, Ro Yonju Yoshi, Lend a me, said Rita, Ro Nazuji Botanchi, and Miller Me Saint Migi, Ubi Dunga Sechine, Gandra. Me Pashu Paribu Digi, Dunaji Sichi, Duba Timber Chiwara, Ro, Zimbatan and Digala. That Digi, Tindagi, Tong Sengi, Chao Zambu Katsu, you were in the ring, and Sing Gamma, Nuba Shagro, Nuba Zambu Shagro. So Digi Nuba di Jima, Subutin, the Mio Digala, Musu Tomba in the Yan, Yidon or Sidan, Kawachimba in the Yachin, Debe Mundu Tisu, Debegi, Juno Lonshi Tisu, Yonchu Rashi Sundachi. She's a crown crown, she chased you so much. Zuba Gonji, Nanji Tendigala, Dongi Gala, Dan, she eat one, she turned on Gudo, Zuba Muni, Zuba Gonati Gondi, the Shumbachi Vikesia Mare, Missing Dagula, Gugu Vikesia Mare, Munig Nito Yubetuni, Zuba Gonion Digala, Ramsu Tobaji Dan, any Tio Digala, Dana Shingi, Dongi, Nanju Gitone, Casore, Nito Yudivata. Jansu Yedivata, Jansu Yedivituni, Missin Dalapa, Mizube, Kundugi Nanjur, Maron Wada, the Sengi Jaol, Mizuba Saint Trube, Mimba Degi, Tindegi Nanju Maron, Diki Tendi Omara, Chesa, DJ Dunga, Zuba Gumbin Jeva Dilla, Jio Jimati, Missing Miller, Yidonji, Zubu Yidonji, Younger Sonia Tianco, George Chasa, Yu Chuachi. Jungjegin jae tu insan tan yu di. She de tenen de wo san tan yu ji re sang tu. Yes. So, well, actually a virtuous action also connects strongly to kind-heartedness, having a good heart, having a kind heart, being kind to other sentient beings. And actually, so now Rinpoche, with the following explanation, he tries to uh, understand the logic behind the certain results, certain results that we experience. So first of all, when we are kind-hearted, when we engage in virtuous actions that are motivated by that kind of care for others, or warm-heartedness, we're much more, we're much happier right away. We feel more peaceful. So one result, uh, an immediate result of our actions, are that we feel better. And this is also mentioned in one of the sutras. Rinpoche believes it's in the sutra on the four types of mindfulness uh, that talk about exactly that. That when we generate love and compassion, which is the motivating force for virtuous actions, then it gives rise to a kind of radiance. It gives rise to uh, a type of, well, radiance of our skin, for instance, as like a healthy result. Uh, but not only does it have that healthy kind of impact on our skin, but it, it, it also lowers our blood pressure and has other uh, physical uh, effects on our body, physical advantages. So warm-heartedness, it, it, makes us, it gives us strength. It actually gives us strength. It strengthens us and is therefore better for our body and our mind. 
and it leads to a more pleasant ap ex uh, appearance, a pleasant ap appearance, which in turn is pleasant for others to perceive. So a pleasant ac ac uh, appearance that we display is also pleasant for others to see. So from the point of view of just this life, um, it has a very positive impact on our body. But to take it a little bit further, from a tantric point of view, so from the tantric teachings of Buddhism, they explain, they give a lot of explanations, not just on the mind, but also on the very subtle energy of our body and the close relationship between the mind and the physical uh, energy in our body, in particular on a very subtle level. So there are different degrees of mind. There are coarser types of minds and subtlest mi or subtler minds. The subtlest type of mind that is possible, the wind or the, the energy, the Tibetan word is wind really, but the energy that is associated with the subtlest type of mind, here the mind and its energy of one nature. But even without talking of this really subtle mind, just talking about ordinary coarser types of mind, well, in that case, there's this strong relationship between the nature or the, 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 yeah, the nature of the mind, is it virtuous or not, it has a great effect on the accompanying winds, the kind of winds that accompany uh, our different types of consciousness. And so there's no surprise that when we engage in a virtuous action, in an, in an action that is motivated by warm-heartedness, it affects the energy in our body, and that in turn, um, it, that in turn affects the elements in our body the subtle elements in our body. And then, when we are reborn, so at the time of death, uh, the subtle wind, the subtle wind, I keep calling it wind, the subtle energy remains with the, with the mind, so our mind continues on to our next life, and since our mind always exists together with this, this energy, well, throughout our life, this kind of energy that is made of the different elements um, since it has been more positive due to our positive actions, this being the example in this case, then um, the energy is more positive, the energy is more positive, and we're more likely to be reborn, uh, or reborn in the sense that our sense consciousness, our, sorry, our, our mental consciousness is more likely to connect to uh, the, the, the fertilized uh, ovum of a mother who also has the strong kind of, uh, is also very strong in terms of the elements or uh, has a, a kind of, um, a very healthy kind of body. So it's just because of this relationship between the mind and the energy that goes along with it. And since that is really healthy, then it is drawn towards uh, a healthy ovum. So Rumshi says this is in a way explains why someone who's warm hearted, uh, this, this strength of the body, this health of the body can also lead to a virtuous kind of, or a, a rebirth that we call a virtuous or a positive rebirth, but in the sense that it accords with the, the cause. It accords with the cause. So Rumshi gave this kind of co uh, complicated explanation that um, accounts for someone who is warm hearted. Uh, has that positive energy will also be reborn in circumstances that are positive in that way. And similarly, well, this is just with regard to warm-heartedness, but also when, a, when one is generous, when one practices generosity, uh, in that case, well, we help another person uh, to get what is necessary. So if they're poor, if they lack in, the basic, in basic necessities, well, we give them to eat, we give them to drink, and because of what we give out, then somehow this comes back to us, that we never lack the things that we've given to someone else. There's also this relationship where we give out, somehow it comes back because of that uh, interrelationship or that dependence of phenomena. So that physical or no, material objects come easily to us. And patience is similar if we practice patience. And remember, she specified, it's not the type of patience because that you, you're forced to just be quiet and not to say anything. That is not considered to be patience. But patience comes from inner strength. You have this type of inner strength. And that, that, that inner strength, that determination to be, to be patient in the face of trouble, in the face of harm and so forth, it actually reflects on your face. It has, it has an effect on your entire body, and it similarly has an effect on your face, which is why they say a result of patience is a radiance, it's a, it's a, a pleasant ex external ex appearance. Therefore, since our mind is 
calm, with virtuous actions. This was basically the summary, the summary of, of this explanation. So Rimshi says, when we're warm-hearted, when we engage in virtuous actions, our mind is calm, our mind is in a balanced state, which puts our energy in a balanced state, and that also results in, in a result, in a rebirth and so forth, that is also balanced. So it's about this balance, it's about this uh, constructive kind of energy that is created that leads to a constructive result. So in that way, Rinpoche explains why it makes sense that a certain cause gives rise to certain experiences. <laughs> Uh Nazo <laughs> Chizinishizashila, and did that Tanjigi, Zawas and Red, did that Tanjigi Nanglu, Zawada, Ketchishu Dawadi, any Shambada, Nijida, Dana Singi Shanshu, you send a Shimbingi Sanglu, a Shinjin Zingi Lulu Soba, Tigum, Dana Singi Dame, but to be Shiro, Ro, or Tizuja de Gongo Grace, or Tisone, China Tanje Julia Chung, Tijuti Jin Shibe Sung Julian Gobagami, Kain by Gijon Chim with Tiki Song Sijine, the Dembashi Nansha de Otosi Sung Gores. So therefore, since what we really wish to experience are pleasant experiences, all of us just want to be happy. And therefore it becomes so important, well, if we want to be happy, these are the causes, this is what we need to practice. Um, it's important to engage in beneficial actions. It's important to make sure that the happiness we really want, well, that, we, that it's in our hand, basically, to accumulate the causes. And unfortunately, it is often the case that although we want to be happy, we want to be well, we continue to accumulate causes that, call, that bring about our own uh, suffering, our own problems, our own difficulties, driven by attachment and aversion. So we harm others, we're rude to them, we insult them, we hurt them, and so forth. It comes pretty easy, and the problem being our afflictive emotions. But if what we really want is happiness, well, this is the way to go about it. Uh, and if we, if we want to experience peace, inner peace and happiness, we need to generate a good heart, kind-heartedness towards others. Um, unfortunately, well, we kind of stress this again, that because we have afflictive emotions, we continue to engage in non-virtuous actions, which come so much easier. Sometimes 24 hours a day, those come much easier than virtuous actions. But since they cause problems, since they, they're responsible for all our unpleasant experiences, it makes sense to turn it around. If we really want to be happy, we need to turn our actions around. And we also need to deal with the root cause of our afflictive emotions that, of course, give rise to our non-virtuous actions, which is grasping at a self, at an unrealistic self, uh, grasping at a self, the way that, which appears to us in a way in which it doesn't exist, so this kind of grasping at a self. 
and instead now replace our actions with, with, with actions that are virtuous, with actions that are beneficial. And the root of that are love and compassion. There are uh, states of mind which, which are determined to bring happiness to other sentient beings that are uh, concerned for the welfare of others. And of course, the mind that understands that the self doesn't exist the way it appears to us. So this kind of wisdom that understands how the self uh, actually exists. And on that basis, if we actually practice that on that basis, then the result, the result that we desire of happiness and well-being well, will eventually um, arise. And so this is what is actually taught when it says all phenomena have a cause and they arise from a, a, from a, a concordant cause and so forth. As it is taught in the Sutra on the Four Noble Truth, uh, if we practice accordingly, then we will experience that kind of happiness. And this completes uh, Rambhuchi's teachings for today uh, on cause and effect on karma. And he needs to leave it at that today because we'll have a puja um, shortly after this session. So it's time to start the puja soon. So. So let's take a break of about 15 minutes uh, before the puja starts. Everybody, please just wait till this translation is finished, then we'll dedicate together. Please wait. Yeah. 